how can you develop a good, strong singing voice, a beautiful tone, and extend your range all at the same time using just one exercise? The answer might surprise you. Now, stay tuned till the end of the video because I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. My name's Carrie Griffiths, and I've been a singer for more than 20 years, and I've toured, I've, I've performed in more than 30 countries to thousands and thousands of people. I've had three top 10 albums, including a number one. And I'm really passionate about helping other singers just like you and speakers and coaches to improve their voices, delivery and performance. So how can you A, extend your range, B, develop a beautiful tone, and C, develop a good, strong singing voice? Now, many of the singers, almost all of the singers that I help, especially at the beginning of their journey, they're really focused on hitting those high notes and holding long notes. And maybe that's you as well. Maybe you've really struggled with hitting high notes or you've struggled with using um, your head voice or falsetto, or you've struggled with belting and really making those high notes really strong and powerful. Now, what a lot of us neglect to do is work on the lower end of our range as well. Now, if you think of your voice as an instrument, which of course it is, what I, what I like to do is compare, uh, is compare the voice to a guitar or a harp, more, more so a harp because it's, it's more, more visual. There are, it's a lot bigger, it's a lot easier to imagine, uh, to picture and to visualise. So if you picture in your mind a harp, you'll know that there are long, long strings at one end and very short strings at the other. And we know that thicker, longer strings tend to be lower in pitch and the shorter, thinner strings are higher in pitch. And it's the same with your with your voice. Of course, with your when your vocal folds come closer together and are thicker, you have um, a thicker, lower, um, richer tone, a lower pitch and a richer tone generally until you work on the high notes. Now, when the high notes tend to be a little bit harsher, your vocal cords come closer together. They tend to be a little bit harsher at the beginning, not for everyone, but for most people. And we have to work on blending them and making them fuller, richer, rounder. But when we work on the lower end of your range, as well as the top of your range, you'll find that your your voice will blend and become one much more quickly because you're working on all parts of your voice. So just like if one string on a guitar or a harp is out of tune or out of sorts um, or there's something wrong with the string, it makes the whole instrument sound wrong, okay? Makes it all sound a little bit weird and sometimes you can't put your finger on what it is and it can just be that one string is out of tune or there's something wrong with that string. And it's the same with your voice. So if you only work on the top end of your voice and neglect the bottom, it's going to take a lot longer for your full voice, your full natural voice to, pr to be produced as beautifully as it's able to, all right? It's just gonna take longer. So make sure you work on the bottom end as well as the middle end, as much as you do on the top end of your voice. That tip has helped you. It comes from my, my ebook that's completely free of charge. It's called Accelerate Your Singing and the link is in the comments. So make sure you go to the comments and um, just pop in your details and get that ebook. It does have links to other videos. It's an interactive ebook. So you can click the links inside the ebook and it will take you to video demonstrations so that you can work on all of the things that I talk about inside the book. Now, because you've stayed to the end, as promised, I'm gonna give you a tip that's gonna help you to work on the bottom end, the lower end of your voice. Now, what most people tend to do when they're trying to reach those low, low notes is they really kind of let the sound, uh, let the voice, the sound of the voice drop into the throat. So that if maybe this is you, maybe you're singing along and you're trying to get those low notes by um, reaching down into your throat. It's almost as if you're, you're trying to swallow air into your throat to make those lower notes 
um, even lower to reach the lowest notes in the song. You can hear it's disappearing into my throat. But what we really want to do is to have the voice resonating anywhere but the throat. So whether it's in your chest here or around your mask, that's going to help you reach your lower notes. It's a lot easier to sing those lower notes when my voice is placed correctly. So I can sing yay easier than yeah it's disappeared it's gone there's there's no sounds there so when the placement is correct just like in the higher notes it will be easier to reach those lower notes and you can create a beautiful wide range so i hope that's helped i'll see you very soon remember to like and comment share this with anyone that you think it's going to help and i'll see you very soon take care stay hydrated ciao